If you're looking to simulate time in your videos, then look no further because I've got you covered. I'm going to show you how to create that easily inside Create Studio 3. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Ali, and welcome to a new series of tutorials working with Anchor Point. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a clock inside Create Studio 3. And so before we dive deeper into this, I'm going to show you an example. Let's watch it and come back and start creating. Hello. Hmm? I hope you liked the video. Now it's time to have fun. And so before we dive deeper into showing you how to animate a clock inside CS3, I want to let you know that I have created a series of tutorials about the anchor point. This will help you dive deeper into understanding the fundamentals of working with Anchor Point and how you can take your animation to the next level. So be sure to check them out. I'll leave a link to them on the top right that's going to show up right now. Or you can wait until the end of the video. I'm going to show them or have them visible on the end screen so you can watch both tutorials just to get a better understanding of working with Anchor Point. And you can easily follow along with me uh, to create amazing animations. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to create or simulate time in CS3 by creating a clock and show you how to animate it. So let's dive into it. And it's so easy to do, by the way, this is going to be a quick tutorial. So let's uh, let's uh, let's get going. So the first thing we're looking for is we need a circle. So I'm going to hit the shift key on the letter C to grab a circle. And then I'm going to change the color of that one and uh, make it black right there. And then I'm going to add some uh, border width to it. So all I'm going to do is I'll go to settings on a right panel, and then I'm going to change the border color to white as my first step. And then I'm going to add some border width, which is right underneath it. Uh, we can change that and then add uh, and make it 16 pixels right there. So we can end up with this uh, border, nice border around the clock, just like that. Next, we want to create the simulation of the time of time inside our clock so what we're going to need to do is grab another circle by hitting the, the shift key along with the letter c to grab another circle and then that one we're going to go to settings on the right panel we'll open up color settings and then we want to make the shape transparent how we simply drag the second uh, circle um, underneath the color palette right there all the way to the left side to make it transparent and then we're going to need to add some border width to it so uh, where it says border color again we're going to change that to white right there and then for the border width we're going to make it five pixels so i'm going to adjust the value from zero to five pixels right there and i'll make that smaller actually so that it goes inside the clock uh, right there next we want to create some dashes to that border so in order to do that we're going to need to go under settings still and find where it says border Right there, it's right underneath properties. Click that to see more options of the border settings, and then you can play with that. So where we're gonna make our changes, it, it's where it says dash. So we're gonna need to add some dash uh, width. So let's just adjust that. It's gonna be probably around 126 pixels. So let's uh, go and change that right now. Take a look, or 20, 126 is gonna be the one and then after you do that you want to rotate it or tilt it a little bit to the left side so it's kind of lined up where we have our dashes inside the clock uh, if you need to tweak the the dashes you can easily do that just by playing with the pixels right there to increase them or decrease them it's really up to you how you uh, want to do it uh, but that for me this is how I'm going to kind of like do it that way like this um, it's imperfect because that one is a little bit longer, but that's that's totally okay. Uh, we can work around that later on, but this is going to be the concept of how we're going to create it. Uh, let me see if I can get, go and adjust it even further than that and see what I want to do about it. Maybe we could do something like this. So how about 108 pixels and then tilt it a little 
like this. I think we now have a perfect uh, dashes around the clock from the inside right there. Next, we want to start by creating our handles. And one thing that I want to highlight when uh, creating this is that we want to make sure that we extend our cloth layers in the timeline for an exact one minute. So we got to make sure that we extend all the layers by selecting them and then extend them, them all the way until one minute. So we're going to have this uh, clock or animate the clock exactly in one minute. And, uh, you know, once we create it, you can either, you know, speed up the animation or slow it down. It's really up to you how you're going to do this. Uh, but that's that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to keep it there for one minute. And then once I created it, I'm going to group all of this and then I can shorten it, you know, for the time, for the length that I want to keep it there as part of my scenes uh, when I when I create videos. So we're not done, but after extending, we just got to go back with our playhead to the very beginning at zero frame. Then it's time to create our handles, right? So we're going to need to grab a rectangle. So I'm going to hit the shift key and the letter R to grab a rectangle. And then one, this one, I'm going to make it white. This is going to be the hours. Uh, I'm sorry, this is going to be the seconds um, handle. So I'm going to change it to white. And then we're going to adjust its size to make it a vertical line just like this and then i could just adjust its size as well and we can make it thinner like this all right there you go and then we want to make sure that this guy is uh, centered and we can then adjust it from the bottom like that make sure it is lined up with the upper ha half of the circle like this and then now it is time to create the um, hours handle. So we're gonna need to make a duplicate of our rectangle, right? And I'm gonna do that by uh, pressing Control D to make a duplicate. I'm gonna change the color of this guy and then make it green. Again, once you're do when you're designing this, it's really up to you how you wanna, you know, play with colors and adjust the the colors of your handles or the entire clock. It's up to you how you wanna do it. But I'm showing you the concept and then feel free to play with this the way you want uh, so after changing the color you want to shrink down and make the vertical line shorter than the first handle that we created and then we got to make sure that we extend both handles all the way until the uh, end just by selecting both and then extending them all the way until the end make sure they're all lined up together and then it's time to adjust our anchor point so for the first handle uh, we're going to select that and then we're going to go to settings and find where it says anchor point and then we're going to change that by dragging the anchor point above the shape right here to make it towards the bottom center of the shape like this right just like that something like this is quite fine same thing for the other one so we're going to select the green handle we're going to go to settings and find where it says anchor point we're going to click that until we see the anchor point arrow and then we can simply drag it also to the same position uh, towards the bottom middle of our rectangle or vertical uh, line, just like that. And then when done, now it's time to create our animation. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create an animation or rotation animation for the first handle. That's uh, the one that goes for uh, the seconds. So I'm going to uh, select the shape and then click on add animation on the timeline. And then I'm going to choose rotation. I'll go to easing and change that to linear for both in and out. Then I'm going to drag my second keyframe all the way until the end like this and make sure it is selected. And then I'm going to go to settings and find where it says properties. Click that and I'm going to change the value from zero degree on a rotation to 21600, right? Like this. And then now if we go back, let me just play this for you. This is how it's going to look like. You can shorten it as you can see it's a little bit longer so that's fine we can we could take care of that guy and just go in there and make it shorter like this and then it should be perfect let's just go back and play it there you go we're pretty good to go right next we want to do the same thing for the other handle so we're going to select that one and then uh, we start from zero frame as well and then we click on add animation above the timeline easing is going to be linear for both in and out properties is going to be a rotation and then now i want to drag the second keyframe 
all the way until the end and also make sure it goes until the end of that track right there and then i'm going to go to settings and find where it says properties change the rotation value from zero to 360 so that it rotates one time um, throughout like 12 for 12 hours basically in one minute so we're going to go back to the very beginning like this and now let's go ahead and play it and this is how easy you can animate a clock inside create studio 3 i hope you found this helpful uh thank you so much for watching be sure to like subscribe and comment below and let me know your thoughts and what would you like to see next in my upcoming tutorial and be sure to turn on the uh, bell notification so you're notified when i release new content once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one Later!